So there's actually a ball python inside. I see part of the body, the head is sticking out. The snake is actually almost looks like it's gonna come out. I hope it's not a female with eggs. It doesn't look like a big snake actually. The head is not really big. Let's see. You can't probably see it because it's it's in the in the dark, I'll try, try to make, to make a, a shade, so... That, oh yeah, that's much better. So, yeah, now you can see... Now you can see the body of a bull python. The head is sticking out a little bit. So... This is really interesting to see this animal in the wild, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows them from <laughs> captivity. But seeing it in the wild is is really special. Wow. Looks like the snake is uh, just trying to move more deep, and uh, I can maybe try to make it go out. You just try to take the. I just uh, don't want to, you know, hurt the snake. It's of course it's there in a tiny space. But hopefully there are no eggs, so that's why I'm very gentle. I might try to clean this area a little bit more. I don't wanna, you know, do anything what could hurt the snake. So in these situations where you find snakes in rock crevices and small holes, you need to be really careful not to hurt them. So I just use the hook gently and I try to lift the body of course the snake is not gonna like go out by itself easily because you know he's hiding now in the shade going out to the sun is not something what it will naturally do um, I'm just slowly trying to I can maybe try to take the body mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, it's, strong, yeah. it's a strong animal of course you know it's a constrictor, so I can't basically take it out. We should like, hold on, hold on, slowly, slowly. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We should very carefully, uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. carefully try to dig it out. Can you stand above it so you make a shape? Then maybe he can he can actually feel better. You know, you see the difference. It's a big difference. Now the shade is here, and the snake is naturally coming to us. You see, so. Uh, you need to understand the behavior of the animal to actually work with it and a simple simple difference you know sunshine versus shade and then the animal just mm -hmm. comes to you and by itself it yeah continue making the shade yes. yes i can now grab the body and we can slowly slowly let's see careful it can bite yeah mm -hmm. it can bite of course i'm just trying to be gentle Slowly, slowly, and I don't yeah. think there are any oh, eggs no. because it doesn't look like it's sitting on anything. Cool. Which is great because we really didn't want to disturb a female on eggs. This is cool. Wow. Whew. Wow. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Still make the shade oh, yeah, straight. Yeah, I want, but the scene will be, be better. So, uh, this is really amazing to see. A ball python in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> we have two at home, uh, captive bred, of course, and we use them for education uh, of kids in schools. So seeing this species in the wild is, is really precious to us. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and it's beautiful. What do you think, this is <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. And it's not even trying to bite or no. anything, it's a very calm snake as we are used from our ball pythons at home you know, we, with those ones, the pet ones we can give them uh, to small small child 
and they are very friendly and it's cool to see that even this one is so calm and nice to us we are now back in the same area where we found the snake i can take it out of the bag and now it's again in this uh, ball position nice representation of a ball python but now it's time to go now it's time to go back to the natural habitat so I put it on the ground and uh, let's hope that she will realize that she's free yeah and she will go to hide in the bushes it's always amazing to release snakes oh that's cool that's cool she's going into the hole check 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 she found a hole and she's going there. Perfect. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this. I always love the moments when we release snakes back to the wild. We enjoy working with them and then we are happy to release them back where they belong, you know, where they live their whole lives, in the habitat which is suitable for them. We are just grateful for these moments which we can have with these wild animals. And uh, that's it, you know, we don't want to take animals outside of their home. Oh, maybe we just want to observe enough. them. This is interesting, yeah, because the hole is maybe not big enough. She might even still come out. <laughs> we might see some natural behavior. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Looks like she's going back. Yeah, I'm curious what is she going uh -huh. to do. So we just released this ball python and she went straight into the hole, almost whole body, but then the hole is probably not big enough, so she's reversing back. She realized she can't hide there. Oh yeah. Okay. Hello so again. Now she's probably going to find another shelter. That's cool. Well, I guess we just uh, let her enjoy the night. Maybe. Or and we, we can go. let her slither a little bit more to those bushes. Yeah, I can try. I mm -hmm. really don't want to leave her here. Just I can that. try. We want her to get safe. So she's hidden in the bushes. Sorry that the hole was too small for you. It looked promising. But I'm sure you'll find a nice place in the bushes. Nicely slithering in those bushes and actually the color is nicely camouflaging the snake. Yeah, I think there you can find more burrows. Mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Thank you very much and bye-bye. <laughs> it was nice to find you and work with you. We are Zuzana and Matej from Living Zoology. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos. Or if you want to support us even more, you can become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our snake merchandise. The link to the store is in the description under the video. Thank you very much. Thank you.